guys welcome back to another video i know it's been a while probably like two months maybe over two months actually now that i think about it uh but i got busy you know life got a bit hectic with everything going on um had a lot to do at work had a lot to do at uni but uh i got my exams on monday so i thought i'd make a quick video on how have i been making my notes and i'll show you my first year notes compared to my second year notes um, for anyone else who has exams coming up in the next couple of weeks and if you're starting university in August you might be wondering what's the best way to make notes so i am tested a lot of things you know Evernote, OneNote, no uh, Word documents uh, storing my notes in Visual Studio, Visual Code you know all that kind of stuff but I think I've finally decided that this application called Typora is the one for me. Uh, it's a markdown editor, so I'll just take you through their website firstly, just showing off all the features that they offer and why I use them. And you can see on the right here, straight away, you know, writing, con drawing control flow diagrams. Normally, you'd screenshot like a PowerPoint or something, but I can create them in markdown and store them in the text document, essentially. It lets me export them to PDFs. I'll show you an example of that, how I used it last year. Um, and that's about it. You know, I used this last year for the first time. It made revision so easy and I got a first as well. So hopefully second time around this year, I'll be able to do that. Now that I'm sitting here, I've noticed that there's quite a few typos. Perro from, so I'll just fix that one involves uh, right whatever anyways on the left is a truly minimal markdown editor um so what that means is that you can write as you can see here on the right distraction free that's what i really like about it you know simple ui no issues i've got my outline here of my document if i need to read something i click on it and i go there uh, where i want to when i'm writing stuff there's no formatting issues because i just format it in markdown um and the next best thing is all of this stuff. Essentially, you know, tables are in there. I can resize them easily, edit them, make new rows. Um, maths, very simple formulas. When I was doing my mathematical structures module, I was able to write out basically the formulas into my text code as I would do them by hand, basically storing them online forever. Code fences is the big thing for computer science, I'd say you'd be looking for as well what it basically allows you to do is select which language you're writing in and it will show it with all the syntax highlighted as you would have in a normal editor diagrams like i mentioned here you can do all your um, flow diagrams you know stuff like that straight in the document and it's all there you know so when you're reading you don't have to look at like i don't know it just makes it look easier you know it's nice and clean um and there's a bunch of other stuff that you can do in it you know it's a really powerful tool screenshots obviously are in there as well um the headings which is the same as the outlines how it's created is really really powerful in my opinion um some other stuff here that you can have just organized files you know outline panels what i really like about it and the exporting to pdf which lets me then take it on my phone and ipad and stuff like that um so you know download some themes it's on mac os windows and linux uh, i use it on windows and on mac os so the first thing first i guess is how do i sync my files across my multiple devices um so what i basically do is use onedrive since that's what's on my windows pc and i primarily use that as my storage device i have a folder in there called type aura um, and then in there i have personal code which is personal projects I've been working on. So I've been learning Flutter in my free time. So I have some notes on that. Um, and you can see here, I've selected dots on my code fences and everything's in there. So when I want to learn how did I do Flutter coding, you know, I haven't touched this in a while now. So I can just have a quick read through here about what does each thing mean? You know, a pub spec file manages Flutter assets, blah, blah, blah. Um, and it's all nicely coded here as well with comments that I normally add. Um, from like tutorials and stuff like that it's explaining to me what is everything doing you know that's in the flutter folder we've got first year here we've got internet services which was um, one of the modules i learned so i have a document on html just covering some of the basics that was needed for the exam there 
um, some of the syntaxes, and you can see it's all, you, you just basically put a code fence in, put HTML, and it's all formatted nice and like colorful. I like colors, um, as you can probably tell from my room. Um, next thing you got is JavaScript, XML. So they're all there and in here when you need to write in those languages, essentially. Uh, Machine Fundamentals is the one where I was learning MIPS. So I have a guide on how MIPS works, which I've actually found really useful because every time I come back to this um, and I have a new module on it, let's say I forget how do you even you know store a word in MIPS, I can just go to the outline on the file itself and select store word. And I've wrote my notes up in a way where I can just see the code fence next to a description of what it does. And I can normally, by now anyways, I'm good enough at coding that I can just read this for two, three minutes and understand how it works. Uh, mathematical structures, I don't have anything on it right now because I think I didn't make notes on it. I just YOLO'd that exam. Um, but I do not condone this behavior. Don't do the same. Java OOP is my Java Concisely notes. And this is honestly one of the biggest things um, I wrote, as you can see here, is 4,000 words just for one module. And if I ever have any issues with Java now, I can normally just click on where I want to go and read about, you know, doubly linked lists and tree diagrams and how do they work. Got examples here that are written up with descriptions, um, just in case I ever need to re-go over those things, which are useful for, like, you know, coding exams and stuff like that for job interviews. OOP2 is a more advanced version of Java. Um, <coughs> and this is another 5,000 words. And then you can see here, if I ever need to learn anything, same thing applies, you know, really easy packaging. I just jump to the outline. Um, so those are my first year notes. And this year so far, I've been working on, you know, some more notes and stuff like that. And you can see here, I've got everything laid out. You know, this is a 12,000 word document, which should take 32 minutes for me to read. Um, and it covers everything I need for this module. And I can just skip to the section that I need. And you can see here how I'm using the combination of the, you know, images with code, and I can actually, I don't know, I just find it a lot more powerful, especially when sometimes um, what I do is if I write a project up, I don't know if I have it in here, I normally copy and paste the code of that project into here, just in case where wherever I might need it, I can just, you know, select this and paste it in and know that it works and it's like working code. Um, so that's why I find really easy. And, you know, some of the stuff you can do here is see when, you lost edited files. So that was from 2019. Five minutes ago, opened that one, ed made some edits in it to fix the typos. You know, it's crazy how I think I went through like maybe 10, 20 different, you know, software engineering videos about how to make notes the best way. But th the simplest way is the best way. And this is the simplest way. It really doesn't, you know, stretch you and does what it needs to do you know when you're making notes the last thing you want to do is formatting all the time you know create a new file straight away straight into typing Control shift k creates a code fence set the language to java and you can just basically start typing away um asterisk does bullet points and uh, just doing a one does the numbering as well um if i do Control one two and three it switches between the headings so I can be like main and then that. And you can see here on the outline now, there'll be a structure created for all of these things. Um, if you ever need to bold anything, you can just right click it, you know, or stick the double things, um, double asterisks on there. You got quotes, you know, you can actually quote things indented like properly. Um, it's, I don't know. I'm going to keep talking about how amazing this stuff is. Um, if you really want to format it, you can get horizontal lines in there as well. Um, you know, the things that you really need to create great work is all in here. And it's just easy and fast. You know, I added the index in the table of contents right there. I can add that to every single document straight at the top. And, you know, it all works. And when I save it, it's saved um just discard that one for now like this software engineering one when i need to take it on the go just go straight to pdf print with the default theme and you can see the software engineering i've already created one um so if i was to open that right now you can see these are my notes fully you know neatly laid out they've done all the titles there on 
the headings they've added the lines so i can actually tell where each section ends i can just sit in bed or something or wherever i am on my phone and just really go through each slide so i just really think you guys if you're making or revising right now and you have time start using typora if not you know after this revision season ends and the next year begins making the switch to something like this where you can store all your notes in one thing easily accessible you're not dependent didn't pay for anything um for this software for now anyways um it's insane and these are markdown texts so you can be open them in other editors you're not just dependent on like type aura using some you know special formatting thing they're just providing the editor that's just so good and so easy to use um they didn't sponsor this or anything uh shouldn't probably be getting as excited but I don't know. I feel like a lot of people struggle, struggle to make notes. I know a lot of my friends did. And most of them, two or three of them, you know, use this stuff now. And they really enjoy it, just like I enjoy it. I, I'm just going to go back to writing notes after this video is basically over. And I'll continue to represent the Type Aura community. <laughs> um, but yeah, so thank you guys for checking out this video. It's just a really quick one. I'll be uploading more after my exams. So we're talking about June, doing a year in industry. So I'll be uploading about the, a lot during that year. Have a lot more free time and stuff like that. We'll be doing some videos on Angular, HTML coding, Java series will be beginning, which is going to use my first year notes. And I'll cover through most of those topics because uh, I find it's good for me anyways when I can teach you guys um, stuff. So thank you for all the support. I do read all your comments. I see who every everyone who subs. I track my analytics despite you thinking I'm not here. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for checking out this video. And I hope you guys have a good evening.